Hello, gamers of the internet. We are back with Dark Souls Remastered. So, we end off on a pretty bad note last time. The recording session ended. Those motherfucking gargoyles, Mark and whatever the fuck the other one was called, beat the crap out of us. And I feel pretty disheartened. But, however, I've done a little bit of research. Ooh. And apparently there's a certain someone who can help us out in this <gasps> fight. Now, I know I always do this by myself. However, this game is hard. And pride has no meaning in these kinds of games where you're challenged like this. So, I must cast aside my pride and ask for a bit of help. Oh. So, what we need to do first, Ben, and hopefully we can do this without getting invaded straight away, is okay. that I gotta become a human and then I gotta quickly run over to the boss. And apparently, there's a certain song waiting for us. Only when we're human, though. Okay. So, and we've only got two humanity up there, so we've got one shot. We cannot let this chance go. This opportunity lasts once in our lifetime. Oh. So we better move oh. ourselves to the music. Okay, and get, I get this it. shit done. I get it. All right. Okay. Also, you guys, I've uh, <laughs> done a little bit of leveling up here and there. I think I leveled up twice, three times. Uh, there are all my stats there. I'm also. I learned something about attunement as well. Now. To equip magic, you need these things called attunement slots, which is over there on the right. Yeah. As you can see, we've got zero. Yeah. But if we if we take attunement up to ten, we get a slot, oh. which means we can equip magic. Oh. And apparently, you even need to go intelligence or faith, unless you're pure magic and you want both intelligence and faith. Right. I'm gonna go with faith because paladins are awesome. Yeah. And that gives you healing magic too. Oh, okay, yeah. So I, I think what my what I'm aiming to be like for my final kind of like mid game build is gonna be is like gonna be like a paladin kind of style. So it's gonna be strength based with endurance and faith. A drunken paladin. Yeah, I like a drunken it. paladin. I like it. <laughs> he's drinking all the wine in the church and he's getting off on it. <laughs> and I think vitality is gonna be a close second. But the three stats that we're gonna endorse in the most are gonna be endurance, strength, and faith. Okay. It's gonna be those three. So and we the do secondary need... ones will be achievement and vitality. Okay, makes sense. I think we'll we'll think we'll be good with that. What do you guys think? Hopefully yeah. you're all going, yeah, that's amazing, go for it, Joe. Fingers crossed. Anyway, let's go get my humanity back. Also, did you do any, like, grinding off of camera, or...? Yeah, I just showed you. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Were you probably not paying attention, Ben? I would, but I, was, I wasn't sure if the You level... listened, as soon, as soon as I mentioned numbers, you're like, oh, fucking stats and shit, here we go. No! And you say and you're like, oh, that's cool as shit. How are you going to become a paladin? By leveling up, Benjamin. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, okay. let's fucking go, 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 go. So we've only got one chance of this. We've got yeah. one chance. If we get invaded, we're fucked. Alright. No, get up, Pedonius. Don't, go, don't sit back in. down your ass. Run! Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Can't we run away from it? Am I going right away? Yeah, I'm going right away. Okay, alright. So. Question, can here? you outrun invaders? I don't... I don't know. If it's anything like Bloodborne, they stay in your game no matter what. Until one of you lives or dies. Oh, that's shit. Yeah, it's pretty crap. You should be able to outrun them and then they disappear. Yeah, but I, I'm not sure if that's a thing in this game or not. Can they come during the boss fights? I don't. Oh, I don't. I don't think so because you got the white wall there. Yeah. And that'd be silly if you just jump into a boss fight and, and then it's like, hey, hey it's, yeah, like the boss versus it's you versus the boss and invader. You practically have to be begging the MP, the, the player to be like, no, please, just let, let me kill it first, then you kill yeah, me. Yeah, exactly. Please, please. All right, I'll get this dick out of the way. Away with you! Okay, it has been a week since we played, so... Yeah. I'm not, not feeling too rusty, but I'm feeling a little bit... Yeah, I'll get you. A little bit on edge, bit. it's fine. That's I why remember you drinks. guys. I remember these guys because I edit. Oh! That's the good thing about editing, though. It makes you remember where stuff is. And, like... Yeah, it's really helpful with Dangle Romper. It has. You like edit an investigation, you're like, oh yeah, I remember that shit happened, and that stuff happens. Like, you get like two takes on it. Yeah. Not just one where you might just forget about it easily. Alright, let's get these guys out of the way. No invaders. So far, so oh, good. It's... 
God, it's always... I get, I get scared being a human now. Because it's like, oh shit. Bet you've never thought you would say those words. Some guy's username <laughs> might just pop up out of nowhere. Like, it could happen right now, or two seconds later, or fucking five minutes later, I don't know. Here oh, we go. there he is. <gasps> oh. Hello! The sun, bro, is here to help us. Sweet. Night, so there. And I think when you've got an NPC with you, you're safe from invasion. Nice. That makes sense. Sweet. Is he with us? Phantom Knight is summoned. Oh, oh praise the, the sun, sun, motherfuckers! Alright, let's do this shit! He even looks like he's in the sun. Two on two? Let's fucking do it. Let's make it a fair fight, gargoyle. Oh! Oh, look at me, so shiny! He's shiny and chrome. Okay, not chrome, <laughs> but he's got a holy light over him. Oh, nice. Grudge match. Let's do this right. Yeah, he's pissed. You best call Mark out. <laughs> hey, Mark! We've turned the tables! I need some help here! Oh, Bell Gargoyle! Oh! oh. <laughs> I, bet, I bet Bill or Fred, what the fuck his name is, is like, oh, oh, uh, I wasn't expecting this shit. Well, Mark, or Bill, I can't remember your names because I don't like you and don't care. You'd be right. Oh man, this is so much. Like, what a difference it's made. Taking it on with an NPC has made this so much more of an easier fight. Oh! Oh, oh what damn. a shot! Yeah! <laughs> Victory achieved! And just like that, we have beaten him. Fair fight. Twin Humanity, Sunlight Medal, and he's off. He's back. Do, do our victory pose. He has to go now. This plant needs him. Yeah! Ooh. Not so tough now, are you? Now that oh. it's a fair fight. I thought it was a little jumpy thing that you should do. I think, well, why not both? Hey! Shh! Fucking right. Oh, mate. I can't believe how much easier that was with the second person. Oh. Holy shit. I'm feeling confident. We're working towards a build. I think we might be able to take people out in this at this level. Also, we got a bunch of shit as well. I know this the gargoyle has dropped quite a bit. Uh, gargoyle shield. We Ooh. got that. That's that's pretty decent actually. I might equip that and give the night shield a rest, just okay. because we got we have indeed. You guys have said, told us that there is durability, and durability, I believe, is that that white square. Oh, where it says one five nine. Okay. So whenever we get, whenever we block with our shield, then we're, that's gonna go down. Also, very helpful advice, guys. I should stop hitting barrels and pots with my weapon because that also decreases durability. You need to roll into them. Right. It's faster, way more efficient, so I've got to do that from now on. Okay. Hopefully muscle memory, memory won't screw me over. All right, gargoyle shield. We'll keep the claymore. Actually, what's the claymore doing in durability? 165, that's not fantastic. I mean, we've got one. Uh, I'll keep it, it's fine. Yeah. It's not gonna go down that fast, is it? I don't know how quick it goes down. Don't need a talisman yet. This this is what lets us cast magic, by the way. Right. Talismans. So whenever we want to use magic, I think we swap to a talisman. I mean, that's how we use magic. Okay. So I'm gonna unequip it for now, just because we don't have magic achievements yet. Yes. So that means we're gonna be a bit more easy on the old, the old uh, weight limit. Yeah. Well, it makes sense, because we're not... How much weight do we have currently? Oh, Joe, one more thing that we need to do. We need to look at those keys and read their, their information. Oh, do we? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I want, I want to know the law. Dungeon cell key. We've done that one. Have we done that one? Uh, oh, someone forgot to turn off their phone. Old habits die hard. Oh, damn. Oh, jeez, Ben. I swear I told this guy so many times. Oh, I remind him every well, day. He just doesn't listen to me. 
Key to the inner door of the Undead Asylum main hall. Big key belongs to a chosen undead pilgrim. But his chosen undead knows not what his pilgrimage has in store. Ooh, master. Oh, we got that. And what's the basement key? What does that say? Opens a narrow passage leading below at the far face of the Great Bridge in the Undead Burg. Low under burgs of treacherous praise. Do not turn your back on the wily thieves, the wild dogs who serve the Capra demon. Oh. The fuck's a Capra demon? No clue. Hopefully we won't find out. Almost oh, same. I hope we do find out. Of course we're going to find out. Alright. Alright. So, what's up here? New level. So many people are beating that boss. Yeah, I see someone else is beating the boss. Hey, good for you. You and me both. Oh. This Ooh. is pretty high up. I would not like accidentally fall off and lose all 10,000 of my souls that I've got down there. Oh, shit. <laughs> Watch these gargoyles just come alive no, again and just knock me off the ladder or some evil shit like that. Oh, that's the bell we need to ring. Gorgeous view. It is a gorgeous view. Dead end of head. Well, I mean, it is a bell. Lord Sadler. All the undead just going towards us right now. Resident Evil oh 4 star. Where's everyone going? <laughs> Bingo? Okay, we rang a bell. That is what an NPC told us near the Firelink Shrine, didn't he? He said to ring yeah. the bells. So that's... Is that one level clear? I guess so. I guess so. Nice. Okay, so, so we're done with the top floor. You know, through the Undead Burg and through the parish? Yeah, I guess so. I think that counts as one section, and since we ran the bell, that's one level done? I guess so. Hey, I learned how to slide. You can slide down. You're oh, up there, by the way. So you don't move... Uh, uh, you, um, you don't move... Excuse me, I'm just going to get you out of the camera view while I explain. <laughs> okay, so you don't move down and press circle like in Bloodborne. You just... You stay neutral and you hold down so oh, you slide okay, down. Right. right now for you, uh, excuse me, who what? the hell are you? You look I'm... evil as fuck. You look like a scarecrow. Sup? Oswald, Oswald? He's got a cool name too. Oh, 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 it's another covenant. Oh, but remember Ooh, this. But I do want the healing, so I might stick with Boy of the White for now. Alright. So, so what are you all about? Request absolution? What does that mean? What's absolution? From the other covenant, covenant I guess. What? I thought... Abandoned covenant? Yeah. Oh, would be your other one. Or what purchase items? Or is this guy really the way of the white? Who, who, what, what, what are you? Oh, I got a gesture. Well, what is it? Alright. At least I give you free gestures, that's nice. How do you know what covenant these guys are are uh, joined? I don't know. What oh, these are items? Book of the Guilty. Reduces curse build up and breaks curse. Uh I don't know what that is. Oh, uh, maybe curse is a status element. Yeah. Indictment. Report trespass of invader. What? What does that do? Slip sold by Bishop of Velka, goddess of sin. If you are killed by an invader, use this to report the crime of that trespasser. What? The indicated player will be added to a list of unfortunate souls who will one day face the wrath of the blaze oh of my the God. dark moon. Excuse me, are you saying you can condemn people who kill you oh, to awesome. some kind of horrible demon of death? What? That is awesome. Are you kidding me? A part of me wants to invest in that. Aww. How much is it? Only two thousand, only two hundred souls. Why the fuck not? Yeah. <laughs> Let's punish people who think they can take us on, and well, win. Turn to the last bonfire. Use. We got Homer Bones. Book of the Guilty. Check the list of indicated players. A goddess of sin, Velka, oversees this list of the guilty who have disrespected the gods or their covenants. Shall one day face the wrath of the blaze of the dark moon? Okay. Mm. Disrespect the gods or their covenants. Uh huh. Oh, is this maybe is this for traitors by any chance? Oh, possibly. What well, if someone pushes you over or does yeah. you on? You can just be like, okay, I'll just feed you to the blades of the dark moon, whatever the fuck that is. 
Oh, long, that's it. As long as the dark moon doesn't look like that mo that moon from Majora's Mask. Oh, Chris Talisman. The thing was creepy as hell. It's a strike type. Medium for casting miracles of the gods. This black tuft of hair. It's hair. Oh my god, I hope it's not pubic hair. Oh. So as a talisman belongs to Velka, goes to the sim. Plot twist, it's Velka's pubic hair. Oh god. It casts miracles, not by drawing upon faith, but intelligence. Oh, we don't need that. We're going to be faith build. So, intelligence is Magic not. pubic hair? Oh. Magic pubic hair. Oh my god. <laughs> Just glittery. set on fire. Oh, <laughs> oh god, the smell. Oh. Oh. Ooh. One of the infamous bite rings, commissioned by Sir Arster of Karim. Despite the dreadful rumours surrounding its creation, this ring is an unmistakable asset in its ability to help prevent bleeding. Oh, maybe that... Oh, it boosts bleeding resistance. That's poison resistance. Ooh. Lose nothing upon death. Oh, that ring, it breaks. Oh, so it's oh. a one-use thing. That's oh. 5,000. I don't Whoa. really want to invest in that, because I'm going to die a lot. This mystical ring was created in the sacrificial rite of Elka, goddess of sin. It's where I will lose nothing upon death, but the ring itself breaks. Mm. So we just lose the ring. Okay, that seems alright. So is that, that's, that's a version of the items that block you for one-hit kills in SMT. Hmm. Not only do we talk about Bloodborne a lot, but we talk about SMT quite a bit in Dark Souls as well. If you guys don't know what the fuck SMT is, it's Shimigami Tensei. If you don't know what Shimigami Tensei is, it's, a, it's the true mainline <coughs> series that Persona was a spin-off of. Yeah. Now you know, because everyone knows what Persona is. Comic Justice. How cool, Black Haired Witch Elka. Mmm. Temporary auto counter versus heavy damage. For each sin, there is a punishment. It is the task of the goddess of Elka to divine the sin. And I want to meet Velka. Mmm. Temporary auto counter. So, what is that, like automatic parries? Yeah, I guess so. Interesting. Hmm. I don't think you have much for us, except for, except for these ones. These seem pretty good. How many of these have we got? Oh, we got zero, and they're three thousand a piece. Oh, that's a lot. I don't know about that. Okay, that's cool though. Yeah, at least you can punish them for killing you. Because a lot of people say that invaders are extremely, extremely hard to kill. So it'd be nice to punish them if they kill you. Like, make yeah. them think twice about, oh, we're going to pick on this low-level guy. He's just first start the game. Yeah. I mean, what if they, like, kill the Blaze of the Dark Moon? That would suck. Oh, who cares? Makes us feel good, so it doesn't matter. I think the fact that it says Abandoned Covenant means that this, this is guy the is the same Covenant. Yeah. yeah. So, request Absolution? What does that do? You have not sinned. What? Oh. Or maybe this is for invaders. And right, people have actually yeah. been, like, given those, um, those items. <laughs> so, I mean, human commit sin. <sighs> and there's the obligatory sinister laugh. My god, everyone in this game has a laughing problem. Okay. So what do you say if I'm a dirty holler? You'd be oh. like, wretched scum. Look, you're covered in sin. You died. Ugh, oh. disgusting. Ugh. No one any uh, Foul art welcome. <laughs> oh my god. Are you sure you're aware of the white? You're dressed in black. And also, are your arms not hurting a lot? Because he is stuck in that pose. Look, it's like a proper T pose. You're here. Except his legs are apart because he's held together. It's like Fuse Zamasu in Dragon Ball Z Fires. So I, I guess I guess we head back. I guess we go back to the Firelink Shrine and then we go down, oh. which I believe is the infamous Blight Town. But so, uh, one of our comments said, "Don't go to Blight Town." But we've got to. There's nowhere no. else to go. No, there's probably other places before Blight Town. Are you sure? Because the only way else is to go down. And if that's the way we gotta go, then that is the way I'm gonna go. We've got 10,000 souls, we'll level up. That'll bring us up to like level 25, that's pretty good. Hmm. I feel confident. I think there was an I area was down here that I haven't been to yet. Yeah, there was like a passage where I didn't go yeah, near the right. Yeah, there was another area that I remember you... I'll go have a look-see. I can't wait to get armor. 
like better armor than what I've already got. Because whilst armor has good defense, it's poised. Yes, not posture. I'm poised. I call it posture in one part. <laughs> I slapped myself in an edit while I was doing an edit. And I was like, fuck sake, Joe. Why would you call it posture? <laughs> like, you don't have to like fix your posture or anything. It's fine. But yeah, I want armor. I want armor has better poise. Because the poise on this armor is absolutely awful. Like I get hit once and I'm floored. It's yeah. pretty bad. And poise is what? The stagger, right? Yeah, that's right. Oh crap. Yeah, I see what you mean. And stagger resistance is pretty damn useful in these kinds of games. Seems it, yeah. Because in Bloodborne, your stagger was like pretty decent. You get hit once and it'd be like, oh, then that's it. And you just get right back up. Even the attacks that like throw you really far, it takes you like a second or two to get back up. Whereas in this game, you get hit by a big attack, you're like on the floor going, ah, oh, oh, I can't get up, help, someone help me up. I mean, you just get crushed by a second attack. Oh. Oh. Do you hear that? I hear clanking. Hmm. 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 Mm. Mm. Noise. Hmm. Hmm. Must explore. Ooh, bonfire. Oh, nice. Wipe. Yeah, buddy. The two measly sips wiped away. <laughs> I guess we'll level up here too. All right, I want to work towards some magic. So, we need achievement. There you go, look. Achievement oh, stops yeah. one. Nice. So that's one. And I guess I'll boost my endurance a bit. Just because I want that more equip load. Uh, we can't level up any further. That'll do. So now, we should be able to equip magic. I did buy magic off screen, by the way. Let's see if I can actually equip it. Uh, how do I equip it? I... Tune magic? Oh, there you go. Oh. Heal. How do I use it? Enter... I enter this one. Done. Cool. And then... How do you use it? Oh, it's up top. I think I equipped... Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, so that's what the actual button is for. I see. Also, with items, someone said that you got to press a button or hold it down to automatically select the Estus flask. I think it was hold down square. Okay, no, it wasn't square. Oh, Very shit. Nice. Oh, it's um, the directional button. You hold it down. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, Okay. I get it. So it stops as you scroll to the Estus Flask automatically. That's cool. Oh, that is actually quite cool. I think Tasman was to actually use use magic. Ah, you go. See, looks highlighted now. Oh, nice. Ah, okay. So we are going to need a talisman to actually use spells as well. One slot. So one slot's gonna be main weapon. Oh, one's gonna be faith magic. Okay. I think that's, that's what we're gonna work with, guys. That's a paladin. Exactly, paladins use holy magic, so there you go. Ironically, that I said uh, last time, magic is from versus. <laughs> well, long range magic you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, healing magic's not. That's oh, shit. Sure. Completely different. Hello. <gasps> Bravery ahead. Ooh, Ooh. is this uh, um, uh, the dudes that fix your armor? Blacksmith, that was it. Amazing chest ahead. Oh, I get it, because he's buff as fuck, right? All right. <laughs> Hello. Why, hello, is it? Hello, mate. How's it going, Andre? Oh, 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 shit! The modifier, cool. Oh, fuck. We've uh, we've got a lot of we've got a lot of things here. Okay, I guess we'll learn a gesture. Hurrah! Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's see what items he's got first. Okay. Ah, oh, this is where the the titanite things come in. Okay. We might want to repair Ooh. our sword. So you can also you can also do these kinds of things at bonfires if you choose to. Choose to do the tool for reinforcing armor bonfire, tool for repairing weapons, armor bonfire. I see, interesting. Okay. Um, do these disappear after one UCF? Yeah, they do, otherwise it wouldn't say. Oh, yeah. Actually, no, wait. I can't buy more than one. Unless I use it, it disappears. Yeah, maybe. Specialized more to use for repair weapons and armor grinding. Repair powder. Rest out a bonfire to make a weapon and armor repair possible. Repair powder is fragile and can't be taken along. Um, I'm just, I think that's uh, an expendable. 
Yeah. Possibly. Though I'm sure you lovely commenters will elaborate on that. We're not relying on you guys. We're trying our best here. <laughs> but your help is much appreciated. <laughs> the Dark Souls community is a nice community. Is is uh, reinforcing weapons um... fixing? Fixing it. I think so. Uh, of course, they cost souls and shards to do so. Oh no, it's not fixing it. It's actually upgrading it. Oh yeah. Oh, there you go. Reinforcing does it. Oh, okay. Claymore plus one. Well, I'm digging the Claymore buff quite a bit, so I think I might upgrade Claymore. Let's see what else we got. Reinforced armor. Right. Now, a lot of you guys have been saying don't bother reinforcing armor. Well, only do it if you haven't got a weapon to upgrade. But weapons come first and armor comes last. Right, fair enough. Is what people have been saying. So we'll leave that for now. Modify equipment. Oh, repair equipment. Probably. Special ember required for blacksmiths to ascend weapons. Ascend weapons. What? Like they they go to the next level? Is that like I don't know effects like fire effects oh, right. or something like that? That'd be cool. Repair equipment. What is that going to cost us? Oh, okay. Required souls. Only seventy one. Oh, why the fuck not? What about armor? Durability on that armor is pretty pretty good. What about shields? How's the shields you doing? Uh, that could use it. I plan to use that quite a bit too. So. Fifty-two. We'll wow. At mm. least it's not expensive to. Yeah, re repairing stuff is actually quite a steal. Unless maybe the higher level weapons are more expensive. Oh, true. Maybe. I think we should reinforce a weapon. Yeah, I think claymore. I agree with you. Claymore plus one. Oh, that only yeah. costs one tier now. We have seven. How much would it cost to go up plus two? Oh, okay. Another one. Why not? We got souls to spare. Ooh, nice. Claymore plus two. Hey, look at that. We can go further. Ben, should we go even further beyond? Because nah. What? I think you should save yourself. What's so the matter? You're scared? You don't want to go even further beyond? You think something terrible might happen if we do? Oh, actually, I might do a gargoyle. Oh, I might do my night shield, actually. To be fair, I didn't think of that. You can mm -hmm. actually upgrade shields, too. So maybe I should endorse in some shield upgrades. Makes sense. Hmm. I think I should go for the Night Shield. Yeah. Just because it's got higher defense than all the other ones we got. Let's do that. There you go. Nice. Do it again. Hey, that's, I mean, that's good enough now. I've still got four shards. You want to waste them all now or you don't want to save them? <laughs> waste, he says. I'm going to use it on Claymore Plus 3. Let's do it. What have we got to lose, eh? Okay, that'll do. Hey. I think I'll, yeah, that'll do. Because what if we get a weapon that's even better? We yeah, exactly. It. Yeah, alright. That's, that's what I'm saying. Let's see. Uh, I think I think we're good for now. We'll purchase items. Special ember for that. We already looked at that. Uh, yeah, we did. Ben, come on, man. Get your head in the game, bro. We did? Yes, we did. Okay. Oh, you, you picked... oh it's just hitting night shots. Okay, you can buy and stuff. Oh, you can buy arrows. Oh, I can get arrows. But do I really want to go arrow build? Nah. I don't think so. Oh, get oh, I've been hollow for majority of the games. Hopefully you won't see me in such a horrible, undead state. Chances are you probably will, though. Oh my lord, what the fuck is that? That boss. Um, uh, 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 um, excuse me, what is that you've got down there? D do you live here? <laughs> is, is that your pet? Because... I call it Scruffy. I don't think Scruffy <laughs> down here is happy to see me. Oh shit. Uh, uh well he's never helped, but... Oh, oh no he does. Oh okay. I guess Why so. are the enemies so scary looking and imposing in this game? Look at this guy, he looks like, like a legit boss. Oh god, he's getting up. Is he? Oh no, actually he's lost a leg. Oh he's a Scruffy's a cripple! Oh, oh I can't hurt him now, I'm gonna feel bad! But I must, for defense. Attack the sail! I know it. Oh. I missed. Ha! <laughs> My <laughs> shit because of it. Man, he had a lot of... Oh. Oh, oh you completely missed. 
Scruffy might also be blind. Oh shit. Gotta keep in mind that Claymore does expend a lot of stamina. Oh shit. <laughs> Who the fuck put that pillar there? Who the developer the pillar, put that there? Got my fired. Weak, my arch enemy. Oh! Oh, it's... oh god. Oh. At least the attack's really slow. Oh, oh, he hit hard. I want to kill him. Oh shit! Oh, I thought he was gonna do his like little jumpy attack then. <laughs> okay, we're halfway there. It feels so wrong beating up a cripple. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. He's got no leg, he's got no nothing. This guy's really got a lot to work with except for a big tail and a single arm and a single leg. And a spear. That's, no, it's a trident, isn't it? It could be worse. He could have a leg for an arm and an arm for a leg. It's a trident. A leg for an arm and an arm for a leg. That would suck and then he would just attack you with the leg. That would be giving more than if he, he could be really acrobatic. Or detachable. Oh, he's oh. got a lunge attack! God, no. I love how the blacksmiths are stuck there, like. Mm, no, no, no. Hmm, what's Coffee's doing? Playing nice with our guest? <laughs> yeah. I keep forgetting I've got heal. Oh, yeah, you do. I have a lunge attack too! Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh. Lunging might be the way forward. <sighs> it might not be about thrusting now. Now it might be going in full force. More of heals. With lunging. I will show you my peaceful ways by force. <laughs> oh, crap. What's wrong? Oh, I thought we got you there. <gasps> Alright, let's test this out. How do I use this thing? I don't know. That's nice drink. Oh, we're on the way up in Odious. There we go. Also, for a second there, you had a status ailment, but I don't know what it was. Yeah! Hey. We learning, boys! We learning! Demon Tonight. Ooh, that's probably like a super special upgrade thing for our weapons. Oh, also, nice. very sorry, Blacksmith. I killed your, I killed your pet. Don't know why he was down here. Don't know what he was doing down here. And why he's crippled. Yep, but he's been vanquished. Maybe I just did him a favour. Aww. Maybe there was a voice deep inside Scruffy's head that says, Please kill me. Oh my god. End my misery, man. I can't fucking walk. All I can do is flail about and try and kill people because it makes me feel alive. Right. Also, where the fuck are we? I think this is a good stopping point. Yep. Alright, next time on Dark Souls, we 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 look, we look go into uncharted territory. It's very dark here. I hope this isn't a shortcut to you know where. We'll see you guys next time. Then where the fuck are we? A forest. Ah. Uh, Dark forests.